just about every Friday night, I meet with a group of friends um, who are a little bit older. Most of them are married and have kids. And we, uh, we meet on Fridays because their wives come home from work and are able to watch the kids. And we can gather and talk about what's going on in our lives. Um, of course, usually we just kind of joke around and draw pictures and stuff. But um, tonight, while we were there, a group of kids came in, uh, a bunch of young punk rock kids, and uh, they all hang out at the coffee shop where I work. Um, and I recognize all of them, but I really only know like two of them. And um, it made me kind of uncomfortable knowing that I spend, you know, like an hour or more a week in the same room with these people and I don't, I don't know them. And, uh, the guy who started the coffee shop, um, the original owner, uh, was a man named Mark Leach and everybody calls him Murph. Um, that was back when it was Skeletones, before it split uh, into a coffee shop and then a venue and, and the coffee shop is now the Euclid. I think I've explained all this once. Um, anyway, Murph is one of probably five, the five people I would go to to ask a really important question or if I, I needed help from someone, I'd probably go to him. He just a very fatherly figure to me and um, he was able to connect with kids, you know, at any age. And I, I don't know how he did it, but it's something that I've always respected about him. That uh, even though he's a lot older and wiser, when kids came in with their, you know, their 16-year-old problems, he was able to relate to them and offer them wonderful advice and just, um, I don't know, show them love. And I don't know how to do that just now, I don't think. And I want to be able to know how because I don't want people thinking that I, I'm i up here because I'm 24 and I, and I play rock and roll music and I work at the hip coffee shop and they're here. They're the kids that go to the shows and go to the coffee shop. I really want to come here. It's pretty cool that I get to be an elder statesman of, I guess, the scene around here. But what good is it to be involved in this underground community thing if you're so disconnected from the people growing into it that you don't even know their names?